And greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Craps Show, where I am your host for this video, Dan Joe McCraps. Hope you're all having a beautiful day out there in YouTube land. And yes, it is Breath of the Wild, um, part 67, I want to say, I think. Uh, but yeah, last time we recovered the Thunder Helm, and we need to get it back to Riju. Riju. So I'm going to equip our discas. Our discas. And I don't want to deal with anybody in town, so I'm not going to. And I just want to say I freaking absolutely adore this game. I wonder if there's anything up there. It might be. It might be. Cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wild enough. Keep me from getting to you, babe. Damn. Whoa. I got schluckered down. Isn't it like... Ah. Yep. Oh. If you're looking for Lady Riju, she is on the second floor. Normally, people aren't allowed into her sleeping quarters. She has given you permission, it seems. Be on your best manners. If she deems you a disturbance to her, it will not end well for you. Second floor, I was just on the second floor. I was just there. Sneaky. Yep. Yep. Hold it right there, Riju. Do you trust me? Oh, should I check her diary? No, that'd be rude. The hell is she? Oh, there she is. Yo! Yo, girl! I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. Don't usually... <laughs> don't usually do that. <laughs> so, that's, that's great. Cool. As the chief of the Gerudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. I know that you've succeeded. I am, as you've no doubt noticed, still but a child. Oh, that's what that is. I thought you were just short and flat-chested. I mean... <laughs> the people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes. But even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I tried so hard to be worthy of their love. To be a worthy chief. And to prove to myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen... I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Aversa. Now please give me the helm. Um, how do I look? 
a little ridiculous. A little, kind of like a Lakitu, actually. Like, her braid is redonkulous, dude. Oh, I might need to turn up the audio. Probably. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. Yeah, I'm turning I it up. I expected as much. From the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Urbusa! What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... How's it? Do I look alright? Yeah, it looks good, yeah. I see. The threat... Oh, yeah. The threat Divine Beast Vanaboris poses... Oh, the threat Divine Beast Vanaboros poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief and as a Gerudo, I must find some way to stop that thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Of course. <laughs> hmm. Who would have thought that just before such a momentous battle... Hearing a simple, confident pledge of support from you would be what puts me at ease. I'll head out now. Meet up at the lookout post, south of town. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Still, it really is a little big. Toit. See, south would be... See, that's the entrance of town, which is northeast. So that would be north, that would be south. Yeah, I know, I know the one she's talking about. It 
say south of town, right? Hello, hello. No, this is south of town. Really, it's that cold. Someone who's proven themselves may touch that ancient item. Don't for a moment think you can just walk up and touch it anytime you like. It's not for you. Okay, how do I prove myself? Sorry, kid. The great Tali isn't in the mood to give autographs. Would you come back later? Who's Tali? Who's Tali? Are you serious right now? You ain't seriously saying you don't recognize Tali as Sansia Racing Champion, are you? Stupid divine beast is the only thing stopping us from showing you Tali Sansi's skill firsthand. Use your eyes. The divine beast is stomping around, so obviously we can't use this Sansi a race course. Suppose you can stand around here if you want, but I prefer you did it elsewhere. Uh, Sansi Racing? So everyone in the world has heard of Sansi Racing except you. Have you been sleeping under a rock? Sansia racing is a sport where people guide Sansias through arches as they race toward the finish line. The racer with the fastest time wins. It's a true Gerudo tradition. Because of this blasted divine beast, we can't run a single race right now. Cool. I guess we're all used to it. Okay, but this is south of town. Do I need to rent a sand seal first, or can I just go there? I think I can just go there, right? Yeah, it's pretty far away. Oh shit. I almost forgot to wear my disguise. Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, seal the deal. When is just a thing outside of it? Hmm. Oh, because she was confused by my joke. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Worf. I'm gonna not wear some of these. Still too cool? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Oh. 
I'm shocked. Um, despite what the chief said, I wasn't expecting someone as short as you. The chief must have her reasons for believing you can fight the divine beast. She's waiting for you atop the lookout post. Hurry up. Yeah, I don't want that shitty bow. It opens both ways. You can open both ways. Open both ways. Come another. Well then, that's what you really look like, huh? <laughs> the bow band from town, it's not very common for me to see someone like you. What a sight. Uh, I mean, Divine Beast Von <laughs> It's pretty intimidating. If we want to get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Of course. Oh. Feeling confident? Good. Let's get going then. First, we use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. Counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Boris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think we can stop it. Ooh, Red Wolves, good choice. Hollow Knight. There's lightning strikes, though. Getting hit even once could prove fatal. Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from any harm. It can also shield the limited area around me. I have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Hmm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me a retreat here to the lookout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. Here are some Gerudo bomb arrows. There aren't many, so be sure to put them to good use. That's totally fine. This is the last time I'll ask, are you ready? Of course. Yeah. Could you give me a better room just for a moment? My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall calm the divine beast Var Naboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Tight. Oh. oh wow, I can feel the power coursing through me. <laughs> Let's move. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think that's the sand seal's way of saying fuck yeah. Lady Abosa, please get out. Please, please. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Ah, hurry up. Alright, this is going well. Keeping the pace, keeping the pace. Keeping the purse. There we go. There we go. Whoa. You're the one that went right into a fucking pillar. All right, now. Ah. Look out. Oh. 
shit, what the fuck? No, what the hell? And oof. Right where we want it. Okay. Okay, that wasn't enough. I'm not. Far enough, I guess. Don't Wait, did that? Oh, that counted. That counted. There we go. Just gonna dash for it. There we go. Shit. Yeah. Nope. There we go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Let's wait till the... Sh Just wait till, you know, the hit and then go and... choice but to entrust the rest to you. This is the last one, too. Travel gate registered to map. Well, well, well. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Nobortis back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Mm, the 
this one's pretty cool. I like this one. Head over to that guidance stone. Sounds easy, right? Mm-hmm. It's like this and like I really did save the best two for last. Um Like it's still like the surroundings, you know. It's really tight, you know. It's like walking around. Like you can like look down. Shit's like still down there. It, it's pretty fucking cool. And just like the mechanisms, the whole like design, the layout of the dungeon and everything. It, it's it's a cool one. I like this one a lot. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much out of time, folks, and oh shit. Huh. Didn't do it. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get going. We're gonna do the bulk of this in the next episode and uh well probably the whole thing actually i don't think it's that long of one i mean it can be but as far as i remember this one's pretty self-explanatory so it's just really oh yeah, yeah yeah you don't have the controls yet it's just uh a very very interesting one the uh, the fight associated with this one is really cool too uh, yeah I think I can get this I want to say yeah I don't remember how you're supposed to do it but Oh wait, do you just like drop it and then shoot it on the swing back? Oh crap. Yep, that works. Ancient core. Tight. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get the map. Do this in the next one. So, you know, thank you for joining me, folks. I've been your host for this video, Dan Joe McCrabs. There's been more Breath of the Wild. Here we go, that's how you get the map. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist up there, you know? it's It's been a long one. It's at least like 30-something hours. Um, yeah, if you want to catch a live stream sometime, um, go over to our Twitch channel. Or if you want to support the show more directly, check out our Patreon page it up over there because uh you know yeah these are yeah we're not going to be monetizing these videos anytime soon or possibly ever i don't know i'm not sure what's in the cards for that depends what happens with youtube gaming in the future uh but yeah we will Catch, catch you guys later. Have a beautiful day. Many blessings on your journey. And, um, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.